Hey guys, this is Douglas G14B and Sneaky Rat. What's up, guys? Yeah, we're here with our newest and greatest creation, actually, probably our first creation. It's a game of Battleship. This is our miniature prototype version. If you can believe that, this is the mini version. Um, we will kind of go into the control panels here and show you how it works real quick. And sneaky. Select your battleships. Let me know when you're done. Alright. Now, oh, this is your battleship selection screen. It's a 3x3. Three three. Same with everything else around me. Lovely 3x3 three three everywhere. Select these three points. And hit the buttons to set them. Alright. Let me know when you're done over there. I'm done. Alright. Now. The screen in front of me, the black one, this shows me, this pretty much just shows you where you fired. And the screen behind me, the white one, shows you where the other players are, where the enemies fired. Right, I'm going to make a selection, fire away. Alright, I fired, that the solid light means I got a miss. And if it was blinking, it would mean I would have hit one of his battleships. And I would just gotta wait for him to fire. And a miss. Definitely a miss. Alright. Let's pick that. Fire away. All right, hit, great. Got one down, two more to go. Ah, another miss. All right, fire away. Miss. While we're waiting for him to fire back, he these screens are connected. Oh, it looks like he. There we go. These screens are connected together, actually, directly. Whatever I see on my screen, he can see on his screen, and vice versa. All right. Oh. Got a hit. Yeah, sorry about that. My clock was offset. Ah, oh, alrighty. Yeah, we have a clock that we have a clock that pretty much when there's a battleship hit, the clock that's running it activates. Pretty much just activates through our little game engine down there, through the wires to display whether or not you got a hit or a miss. Every once in a while, they'll turn themselves off if you're not in the if you're not in the chunks since redstone deactivates. Alright, click fire. Almost hit the end of game fire selection reset. You know, I noticed it's on a red block, meaning don't push until, well, the end of game. Alright, no miss. Let's see what sneakier I can do. You firing over there? Alright, there we go. It's not bad. There we go. Taking your sweet time on it. Wait for me to get the signal. Wait for me to get the signal. Oh, there we go. Oh, dude. You won already. That is crazy. Crazy, I say. Alright, well, looks like he won this one. Huh, <laughs> interesting. Well, he won this one. Game's over.
Um, most of the game functions are a manual reset um, until so, until further notice. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the, what the final one is going to look like. And instead of having a 3x3 three three screen, it's going to have the classic Battleship 10x10 10 10 screen. Sneaky, if you can reset some of those. Reset the uh, redstone so that I can actually load some chunks. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the uh, the server gets a little bogged down when the game's running, as you can t as you can tell, the chunks are loading a lot slower. All right, this thing, I guess you could call it, is this is pretty much just the selector for the, the large one. As you can see down here, instead of having a hundred buttons, in this case levers, instead of having a hundred buttons on one large screen which could start getting confusing for anyone playing the game. We opted to have buttons on the side and buttons on the bottom to select a grid pretty much the same as your classic battleship. Like ED and all that stuff. So for instance if you want to select C5, you just first select the C, go down to the number 5, and select. There we go. Select that one. No, oh, this one's going down. How much time to end it? And it would then select and go through these decoders and come out into every, whatever other device I want at the end. Oh, there is our game of Battleship.